Hi everyone, welcome to Lap Lurchers and we're really really sorry but we haven't done any videos for ages because we have been moving house. What I'm going to do today is talk about moving houses with your lurcher. I'm going to give you a tour of my house and tell you what we did when we moved to keep her settled and keep her calm. Um, firstly I'd like to apologise because we haven't got the lights out so I probably look quite, well, older and it's all a bit dark and dingy in here. But I'll give you a tour of the house and then I'll tell you what we did to make Loki feel at home. Our new front room. Here's Floki. We've got the old rug down that we had in the old house so it still smells like her, it still smells like her fur and everything. This is a tour of... <laughs> Why are you in it? Do you want to be in it? This is my daughter. I don't, I don't know why she's in it because she says she doesn't want to be in it then she's sat in the middle of my tour. So uh, pretend you can't see her. Right, um, there will be a fire there at some point, but there's no fire right now. And as you come out here, here's the patio garden, which is much better than the old garden because she made it muddy. Flowers. Oh, me. Flowers, flowers, flowers. We put the pergola up and we're going to have, we're going to have, um, plants growing up it and it'll be nice and quiet and lovely. There is our garden. Right, so here is the hallway. Here is the door. That's downstairs bathroom. This is a really cool stair date that my dad has made for the house. I found something on Pinterest and sent him a picture and he made this for me. So that is really, really stunning and then it just pulls open. We don't use this all the time. This is only if Floki's muddy or if she's wet or if she just can't come upstairs. Right, so here's upstairs door number one. Like I said, we've just moved in so like that's not my family that just came with the frame. That's not my family. Apart from that, you can get the general idea. Now this floor here is purely um, my children's bedrooms and an airing cupboard and a bathroom, but because they don't want to have their bedrooms on the film, I'm not gonna do it. Then we have the next floor that, there is my last lurcher, that's Grolly Dog. So then we go up, up, up. And there's a lovely picture of Floki, but that's on the other floor actually. And then we go up here. Oh, there's me. And here's my bedroom. This is the really kind of bare bit of my bedroom. Like I say, I haven't got any lampshades and I haven't got any rugs or anything yet. So it does look a bit, a bit boring, but you get the general idea of what my room's like. Again, all of the pictures will be on the wall. So you just have to use your imagination a little bit. I'll unpack that too. But yeah, this is my new... As a kid. <laughs> this is my new bedroom. And this is my favourite room because I think it looks quite cool. I like the archway. So here we go. Oh, there's Grolly Dog, my last lecture again. Pictures, pictures, pictures. I might die, I might trip. There we go. Back down to the bedroom floor. <laughs> She's left the door open. You left your door open. <laughs> there we go, didn't see her. And then back down again. And there's Floki in her usual position of trying to trip us up. And then this is the last room, this is the kitchen. There she is. This is how she likes to get in the way. Here's the kitchen. Kitchen, 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 kitchen. And... 
Right, so site hands can be quite sensitive to things, you know, big changes like moving and stuff. It turns out Floki wasn't really that bothered, but we didn't know that beforehand, so we took these precautions to make sure that she had a good and sound move. Number one, as soon as you do know you're moving, if you can get up to where you're going to be moving to, take your dog for a walk, take her around the area, let her sniff around, get her used to the smells, the environment, the sounds, just get her familiar in your new sort of residence, your neighbourhood. Uh, the next thing I did was when we knew we were going to move, we started putting Floki in her crate, which is right here. Now, um, Floki hasn't used her crate for quite some time. It used to be up in our old house, but we didn't make her sleep in it or anything. But when we knew we were going to move house, started putting her in, shutting the door. Now, when you've got your crate, make sure you've got water in there at all times and make sure it's all secure. And because I have seen dogs which can um, put their head through the wire and stuff, make sure it's safe, make sure it's perfect. What we did then, so at night time, we put her in her crate nice and easy, put her in, close it up, and when it came to our moving day, we brought the crate with us. Now, another thing that I'm going to say is, even though you're going to be moving into a nice, lovely new home, keep your dog's bedding all smelly, and I know it's going to be tempting because you're going to want everything perfect for your new place. Keep it smelly, keep it old, it will be familiar and it will be comforting for your dog. So at night time, remember, she's going to need a good walk before you even put her in the crate. She's going to need something to distract her, maybe something to chew on. Not anything like a bone though, because of course you need to be watching your dog if they have something like a bone. Make sure they've got water. Then when it comes to night time, it's familiar, it's not unusual, it's the same routine and you can pop her in her crate. Um, a few other things I would advise. We had all brand new flooring and stuff put down in carpet, so again, the smell of the house didn't seem familiar for Floki. But like I said, we've got the stinky old rug from the old house and we've got the stinky bedding. If you can leave your toys hanging around for your dog, make sure that the environment is fun and stimulating. And another tip, again, I know it's really tempting when you move into a new house is to put everything up on the walls, but keep banging and loud noises down to a minimal for the first few days, just so your dog can be settled. We did wonder if Floki was going to have any troubles um, adjusting from going to a grass garden to the patio garden, which you saw outside, but that was no bother at all. She um, took to that straight away. So we used the crate for about three nights. It meant that we knew she was safe. We knew she couldn't get into any boxes that were kind of left around. She couldn't injure herself. She couldn't get herself worried. And of course, it just meant that there was no disturbances for the neighbors and she couldn't unsettle herself. It felt familiar and calming for her. We don't use the crate now, obviously. I've just put it up to, to show you the crate. And now she sleeps just wherever she wants to. I suspect it's the couch, but she pretends to sleep on the floor for me. Um, I do advise that even if you don't want your dog to sleep in a crate, that you do crate turn your dog because during their lifetime, they are going to be crated at some point, whether that be they have an injury and they have to go to the vets. It, maybe they won't have an injury. Maybe they just need to be spayed or neutered. They're going to be put into a crate. And what you don't want is for your injured or unhappy, unwell dog to then be stressed out by a crate that they've never had any experience of. So do crate train your dog. Another example is um, if you're traveling, they might be put into a crate. They might be crated if they were to go to a dog groomer. And then of course they've got the loud noises, the weird smell, and then add a crate to that. You just got a really stressed out dog. So even if you don't like the idea of a crate, do get your dog used to a crate because at some point they will have to go in it. And at some point it's gonna be a stressful point. So make it a fun thing. Another thing is just try and keep calm and I know it's a really stupid thing to say but when we're all moving house it can get really unsettled and it can get tense. If you're feeling unhappy and you're feeling aggravated your dog will pick up on that so always try and keep calm. So make sure your removal men know what room you've put your dog into. Um, I should say once, you, once you're in the house make sure you've got a safe room which you can leave your dog in. So for me that meant my upstairs bedroom, it was large. We put the furniture in there first, and then we put her dog water in and we put her upstairs while we moved in the other bits of furniture. So make sure everyone knows where the dog is, make sure no one's going to let the dog out because if your dog gets out in a new house it won't know where to go and it can panic itself quite quickly. Make sure everyone coming in and out of the house knows that there is a dog around so there's no accidents. Make sure the children know, if you have children, not to be exploring and you know accidentally letting them out. Another thing you need to do is remember to let your vet know that you're moving. Let them know this just before the move because you're also going to have to update your dog's microchip in case your dog did run off at any point 
and you need to update the information on your dog's collar in case she does escape at some point. Right, to summarise, what you need to do when you're moving out of the alert chair is keep calm. If you can take a few minutes to sit and have a cup of tea with your dog, do do so, they'll appreciate it and you know, you'll feel better for it too. Keep all of your information up to date with the vet, with the microchip and people. Um, let people know where your dog is, what room she's going to be in. Make sure she's tired before you get to bed. And if you do have a crate, do use your crate, but don't start using it on the day you move. Use it you know, a couple of weeks beforehand so it becomes the norm again. Um, Floki has taken to it really, really well. As you can see, she's very much at home. She's very happy. She's settled right in. And I hope that your dog finds it as easy too.